28th October 1920, Chao Kuman Gohai Namshum was born into the then Thai Kamti royal family at Chongkam village to parents Chao Fa Kanan Gohai Namshum and Nang Fa Uttra Gohai. He was one of those pioneering figures who laid the foundation of development and unity in Arunachal Pradesh. He was twice nominated as the MP from Undivided Lohit. Before being nominated as an MP, he was appointed as Assistant Political Officer by the British officials. As a leader, he emphasized on education, which was necessary for human resources. In 1952, he was first nominated as MP, representing whole Nepal. In 1957, he was nominated again for the second time, which he respectfully declined in order to focus more on his family. As a leader, he set an example to the people for self-employment and self-reliance. He started timber business, then gradually moved to plywood and then to the tea industry. The cottage industry that we see in the state today is a fruit of his labor as well. He breathed his last on 2nd February 2010 at his native village and people from all walks of life came to pay their last respect. He is survived by five daughters and a son, Mr. Rajan Namshum, an ex MLA. One of his sons in law, retired Colonel Rimo Karbag, is a first commissioned officer in Indian Armed Forces from Nepal, now Arunachal Pradesh. Chokumun Guhain Namshum was nominated a member of parliament, the first from then Nipa to lower house of Indian parliament. Not only that, he was also one of the lower house members of parliament in first Indian parliament. First from Nipa, first from Nipa to be in first parliament of India. Eventually, due to what he said, financial crisis, he resigned after being nominated for a second term, 52 to 57 first term, then he was re-nominated for a second term, and in 1960, he resigned during his second term. Then he recommended Mr. Earing to be nominated in his place, which was so done and I was extremely happy because Mr. Earing was a very promising person and he lived up to everybody's expectation and became the first minister from our state in under Nehru cabinet. The boarding fees was 500 rupees per month for each child. And daddy as an MP used to be paid 500 rupees per month. He couldn't afford to keep five of us in the boarding. So that is one of the reasons why he resigned and then he started his own business and he could afford to educate his daughters. He always said that it's very important to educate girls, which you can see many of our, uh, you know, aunties and all, they are educated. I mean, they are older than us older generation but he was very very uh, <coughs> insistent and he put a lot of importance on girls education which of course now also we are still following mo deuta hati bikri kori kene goisele plane no ticket e sob etu karane aru thakibo karane karan tontha khali 500 rupees asele mp tikia to 500 rupees to the nojure ta ki ane to ghor to to soli bole hati sati amar property bikri kori aru kono nasle na ghor kam sa bole he kane ghori ai kene chokhamot ghor asle kintu tekhete amar family loy shift koile 27 mile jon to eta teju on the way to teju ase 27 mile koy 27 mile koile within one within one year Within one year, he took a lot of money. He took a lot of money. He took a 
আডভাইসমেন্ট যন্ত্র এটু এটু যন্ত্র এটা গোহাই গাঁও বলে কয় তো তাতে তাতে এই তাতে আমি সমিল স্টার্ট করলে দেওয়াই সমিল স্টার্ট করলে সমিল তো স্টার্ট করে কিনে আকু অল্প দিন কারণে আমি ডিব্রুগড় তো শিফট করল মানে অহা যা হয় ডিব্রুগড় আমি থাকো ফর এডুকেশন পারপোজ না মোট সিস্টার কেটা আমি তাতে ঘর থাকে কিনে পড়িছিল দেন সেভেন্টি ফাইভত আমি এই গুণানগর যেটা আসো বর্তমান এই গুণানগর আমি শিফট করল সে আমি মূল ডর এন্ডার সিস্টার চাবলে দিলে দেওয়া দেন ইয়ে শিফট করে কিনে এই নাম একু না খালি এইটাই একটা ঘর আমি যত আমি বহি আসো এইটাই সিঙ্গল ঘর আছে হাতি সাতি বাঘ সব উলাইছিলে এটা জঙ্গল ইয়ারপা চখাম যাবলে ভয় লাগিছিল থ্রি কিলোমিটার স্টপি জঙ্গল পুরা আসলে তো ইয়াতে কি নাম দিম বলে মূল এটা স্টাফ আসলে মানে বয়স পনেরো মান হব ফিফটিন ইয়ার্স কথা কি করি কি নাম দিম বলে ভাইটি মোট নাম আসলে গুণা তাই গুণানগর দি দিম বলে তো গুণানগর দিম বলে সেই কারণে এই জায়গাটো গুণানগর নাম হি হ্যাড দ্যাট গ্রেট রেসপেক্ট ফর এভরিবডি রাইট ফ্রম ইউ নো দ্য লোয়ার স্টাফ টু পিআইপিস এন্ড দেন আর হাউস ইউজ টু বি কন্টিনিউসলি ভিজিটেড বাই পিপল ফ্রম অল ওভার and uh, we heard that even people from far places in assam they would say if you go to that place you'll never come back without a meal <laughs> and then we would sit down for a meal suddenly daddy would say oh <clears throat> put food for about 10 or 12 people then we would not eat our food we would serve it to the guest and then we would complain because we have come on holiday daddy would say people have come from so far out of affection and love for us so you should be happy you should not complain that is one thing we learned from him you know to appreciate people that they do not come to you for something they come to you because of out of affection very helpful nature is there যেনকা উঠুনি বাইদে বাই কোয়া নিচিনা ইয়ার পা চোখাম গোটে দশ বার রুখি খালি তার টিচার তো আসে টিচার তো ইয়ার নাই যাক দেখলে রুখি কত বা যাবি নাকি উঠি রয় উঠাই উঠাই ভর্তি হয়ে যায় গাড়িটো তো বহু টাইম লাগে যায় মানে বলে ওসর যাবলে হি লে দ্য ফাউন্ডেশন অফ প্রেজেন্ট ডে অরুণাচল ইন ডাইভার্স ফিল্ড সচ এডুকেশন এগ্রিকালচার কমিউনিকেশন বোথ সার্ফেস ইন এয়ার হেলথ কেয়ার এডমিনিস্ট্রেটিভ রিফর্ম গ্রাম পঞ্চায়েত সিস্টেম ইন্ডাস্ট্রি রিলিজিয়াস ইনস্টিটিউশন বর্ডার সিকিউরিটি এন্ড লার্জার ন্যাশনাল ইন্টিগ্রেশন হি ওয়াজ অলসো গিভেন গোল্ড মেডেল বাই দ্য মিনিস্ট্রি অফ ডিফেন্স ফর হি ডেডিকেটেড সার্ভিস টু দ্য কান্ট্রি এন্ড দ্য ডিফেন্স ফোর্সেস ডিউরিং he personally met him in his office many a time on many other occasion he wrote letters to the prime minister here is a very interesting part of his letter written on 17th may 1957 i shall read out this paragraph he wrote During my recent tours a very large number of my tribal brothers have complained to me that during the British regime every facility was provided for them to purchase meal made clothes and other necessities of their life at a very reasonable rate and that now the administration has even banned the import of meal made clothes in the area the tribals are good at weaving on the loin looms but now we they wish to learn on the subtle loom and other improved methods the kotes industry training center in nifa are not permitted to teach 
the trials in the shuttle loom and also they are not permitted to copy any of the outside designs. They feel that this restriction by the administration is an imposition to them and restrict their views to develop their own arts and craft but I feel that this amount to preserving them as museum specimen.